Hi, it's Dustin from Meridian. In this video, we're discussing which technical LUTs you'll want to apply if you're shooting in log format on the Canon C70. We'll explain why you want to use these LUTs and show you how to apply them in Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. For starters, let me preface by saying that this video is not intended for advanced colorists. And although this video will be from the perspective of a C70 user, the principles behind this video really apply for anyone shooting in a log picture profile. So just as a quick refresher, what is a LUT? A LUT is basically a mathematical formula that can be applied to your footage to change pixel values from one value to another. And there are many different types of LUTs, but in this video, we're just going to be focusing on technical LUTs. Technical LUTs are not intended to be used for creative embellishment or for stylizing your image. Rather, they focus on accurately transforming color and tonal information captured internally on your camera to a designated output space. It's a pretty common misconception that you can take log footage and just increase the contrast and saturation until it looks satisfactory on your monitor. There's a really good video about this topic by Gerald Undone and in it he demonstrates just how tedious it is to manually adjust log footage to get a technically precise image. One of the biggest takeaways from that video is that if your camera manufacturer offers a LUT to transform your footage from log to a standard display reference like Rec. 709, you can expedite your workflow dramatically by applying those LUTs. And camera manufacturers spend a significant amount of time crafting these LUTs so you can do conversions to and from display referred standards such as Rec. 709 or DCI P3. If you want to ensure that your final video is displaying accurately and consistently across devices, it's important to understand the workflow for converting your footage from log to whatever your final color space will be. Rec. 709 happens to be the most common color space for online viewing or broadcast delivery, but if you're delivering for digital cinema, for instance, you'll likely be converting your log footage to DCI P3. Okay, so now that we've covered some of the reasons to use technical LUTs, let's move on to downloading and installing Canon's LUTs. Canon provides these for free on their website, and we'll leave a link in the description so you can find them quickly. The first thing you'll see are two folders labeled 1D LUTs and 3D LUTs. The differences between the two probably warrant a separate video, but in general, 1D LUTs function by using a simpler conversion process, while 3D LUTs use a cube of color information with instructions to navigate the cube to achieve a specific look. Although 3D LUTs tend to be more accurate due to the complexity of their conversion process, both 1D and 3D LUTs have their uses, and there really isn't a right or wrong choice between the two so long as you are selecting the right inputs and outputs. Within the 3D LUT folder, you'll see three additional folders labeled 17 grid, 33 grid, and 65 grid. Basically, the more grids you have, the more complex the 3D cube is that transforms your footage. 65 grid options are the most precise, but also require more processing power. I found that 33 grid LUTs are a nice sweet spot, but that's just personal preference. To get these installed in Adobe Premiere, we'll need to navigate to the folder that houses the LUTs on your computer. Premiere has two folders for LUTs. Since the LUTs we're working with today are technical LUTs, we'll load them in here. Rather than copy all of them from the Canon folder though, I'm only going to upload the ones that are applicable to the camera I have, which keeps things a bit more tidy. The Canon C70 shoots in cinema gamut and can record in C-Log, C-Log 2, and C-Log 3. So I'll copy these LUTs into the technical folder. From there, I'll be able to quickly access them in Premiere. Since the footage shot on the Canon C70 was shot in Cinema Gamut in C-Log 2, and I'm planning on outputting this clip on a Rec. 709 display, I'll apply this LUT. The process for applying this LUT is a lot easier in DaVinci Resolve since they come pre-installed when you download the program. Simply navigate to the effects panel and select Color Space Transform. From there, apply it to your clip and then change the input and output values. In my instance, the input color space is Canon Cinema Gamut, the input gamma is Canon C-Log2, and the output color space and gamma is Rec. 709. Resolve offers some additional tools for tweaking the tone mapping that you can use to get an ideal look. 
Now that you've brought your footage into the correct color space, you can start thinking about the more creative applications for color grading your footage. You'd want to make sure that you do this after applying the technical LUT though, otherwise you can get some unwanted artifacts during the color space transform. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in learning more about color correcting log footage from the C70. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can catch more content like this in the future. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.